Welcome back to the Sweet Talks podcast. Today we got Chance, not the rapper, Chance the TikToker. Hey, Chance. How What's you good, doing? Chance? I'm good. How are you guys? Good, good. Stone, good. Stone. good, brother. Good. Shit, man. Hey. I got a question for you, bro. Uh, what's the question? Is Chance your actual real name? Yes, sir. Government. Really? <laughs> Government. <laughs> Government. This is stupid. What? Mm-hmm. So it's just like it's you, just Chance. No just Chance. chance no, no last name. Just like McLovin. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. No. Um, <laughs> <Just> like <McLovin. laughs> no, yeah. My name is Chance Hernandez. I got a middle name, oh. but we ain't gotta talk about that. Yeah. Wait, is Chance the rapper's real name Chance too? No, nah, his nah. name is Chancellor. Chancellor. What? Chancellor Bennett. What? Shut up, yeah. Chancellor. So, mm-hmm. No relation, right? like not no even, relation, not no. even Chancellor. No relation, no relation. Just Chicago. Well, yeah. so like your parents were just like Chance. Oh uh, no, so um, my dad's like a handyman or whatever. So he um he like goes and fix stuff. And one of his tenants that he was working for, his son' name was Chance. And then like I was born, and he was gonna name me Hunter, but he named me Chance instead because he thought it was more cool. Mm. So. Hunter's a dope ass name too. I like. Hunter. I would have been blue if my name was Hunter. I'm already, like, you see how white I look? I yeah. had the name of Hunter. Come on, dude. I would have been bullied. <laughs> oh, bully! I thought he said I would have been blue. I was like, yeah, that's what I thought he said. Too. I was like, damn, that's like. Do you do you have like different Chicago like slang? Oh, for sure. Like like when I be blue. saying blue, like it's, like I'm upset, like or like it would have made me mad or something oh, like that, what? Or annoyed or something like that. Blue, like I'm um, um, blue. Yeah, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that song. Not yet. Uh, we saying like I'm blue. Um, what else? I'm um, bro. That's like you, like you know how people be like oh, I'm my mom or I'm my kids or whatever. Yeah, Something like that. Like we phone be like him. I'm bro. I'm phone him. Phone him. Not. A, I mean, people say that, but it's like most most people be like I'm bro. Um, yeah. shorty. Love you, but like shorty's like a lot of places though. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But <clears throat> and you said bop. Um. Yeah. So. You know, New York says bop as in like girls giving them like top. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We say bops as in like as in like um like females, or we say tillies. Tillies. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. Wait, tillies? wait. Like you mean the tillies? store? Yeah, like the store. They say the store. I didn't even know it was a store until someone told me that. But no, we <laughs> saying tillies. Like wait. what? Like oh, that's a that's a tilly over there. Like, Ooh, there's some tillies over there. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of hard. Like, wait, wait. <laughs> or like oh, we get a, We get a hotel. We're like look at the tillies to the telly. Like, what? what? <laughs> That is I like that. I like that. Uh, we're gonna start fucking with that. Yeah, Tilly. 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 Like tills? Tilly. Oh, look at tills. Where the tillies at? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of tight. Mm-hmm. Biddies? No, not biddies. Wait, well, I'm about to fuck on a Tilly tonight. I'm about to fuck on a Tilly to Tilly. Fuck you talking about, dude. I'm phoning him. I'm phoning him. I'm phoning him. I'm What? Wait, how do you use bop? Uh, I say it's just like when, it's like, like when girls say period, bro. When they say period, but I just say that when somebody's yeah. like, I just say bop. Like, I mean, word, like, like bop, word, like a song's like a bop. Like word, yeah. Or I'll yeah. say bop like a girl bopping or something. Nah, like, I I'll never heard that until I talked to um to like Sham. He told me that he was Sham and like, my NYC. Yeah, he told me that it was like he's like yeah. bop is like top. Yeah, yeah. Polo Boy yeah, told us what, that. That's what Polo yeah. Boy was saying. No, nah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't know that. I was like, nah, I'm like bops. I'm like, bro, bops are females. I'm like, ain't no. Ain't I'm. No. I've never heard like anybody call a girl bop. I have. Well, yeah, disrespectfully though. Nah, shorty's a bop. Yeah, it's like this. You never heard that? Nah. Yeah, it's like bitch, who's a bop. Yeah. Okay. That song. Yeah, I've heard that song. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you heard that song before? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, bro. So today I was looking at your IG, right? Was there shit on your fucking um pillows? Was that shit? Oh, bro. In my BNB. Yeah, bro. It's that. so annoying, G. I, so I got to my BNB at like 2 a.m. and I went straight to sleep. You know, it's pitch, it's pitch black or whatever. And um, I get there and I wake up and I'm like sleeping and I look up and I see it like on my corner of my eye and I just seem like black. I like, I freaked out. I was like, what the fuck? So I started flipping on my pillows, and then three of my pillows had stains on them. I was like, bro, I'm like, I blew, bro. It blew the fuck out of me. Blew the fuck out of me. I, and, and so whatever, that happened. And then, like, I texted the people that, like, run the B&B, and I tried calling them. No one answered. And I left, and I texted them at, like, 10 a.m., bro. And then, like, at 8 p.m., I still get no response. I get back to my room. Nothing's changed. The pillows are still just sitting on my bed. I was so upset. I went in, I went in like, um, 
hit the like people that run the Airbnb up. Yeah. Get a response back because I need money back for something. Like, bro, stains you on my slept pillow. on shit. Literally. All right, I think it's making Somebody's I wiping don't... their ass with the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Someone <laughs> might have wiped their ass yeah, with the pillow. They ran out of toilet paper in the BB. Even if it's just makeup, it's still not sanitary. Like, this fucked up. At all. And they had the pillows flipped. Like, they knew it was there. No, yes. They had the pillows all nice and set. I wake up and I, they're flipped over. I'm like, bro, I'm like, y'all flip these pillows on me. Like, y'all serious? <laughs> like, so shy, Steve. Oh, my God, bro. That shit had me laughing hard as fuck. I was like, is that shit? <laughs> bro, that's man. fucking funny. You're going to get pink eye. <laughs> come on, dude. You're going to put that in the air. <laughs> 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 he's trying, trying to come on. Man. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking around. No, it's not. <laughs> At all. <laughs> so, so serious. <laughs> <laughs> all right so you're you're mostly known too for like your relationship like tiktoks and you talk about that right mm -hmm. let's say you go on a date with a girl okay do you put your phone up face up down or in your pocket i keep it like this i keep it down down on the table yeah why um is there even a difference i mean yeah because i feel like you know if it's like this and you start getting notifications and you don't want to open them, like, the girl will know that you're kind of, like, trying to avoid that. Like, she knows you're trying to give her attention, but then she'll be like, oh, like, you could go ahead, you go look at it. I don't want to give her that, so I'm going to leave it like this. But I'll leave it on vibrate, so, like, if someone calls me, I'll look. Because, you know, my mom or my sister will call me or something like that. I don't like keeping it in my pocket because it's, like, a whole extra thing to pull it out. Or yeah. Something. You keep it in your pocket? I keep I'm it in my pocket. Fuck that. Well, I know why Frank keeps it in his pocket. Hey, sh <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So, do you think that makes a difference, though? So like um, you just said, you know why he keeps in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you think, do you think like you go on a date with a girl and they're like, damn, the phone's in his pocket. No, I don't think they think about it too much like that. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't think they would think about it like that. I, I know like for sure, like if you have your phone up or down or if you're like on your phone during the day, for sure. Um, but like, I always keep my phone out. I, I, I feel like if you keep it that way, it's like serious. You're like, like I'm focused on, on yeah, you. you're focused like, on I'm the focused girl, on you. but it's like, might as well have it in your pocket. That's a good excuse, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just focused on you. No, no I'll sure. do that yeah, too. Like, this is me. I'm like, I'm yeah. done with my phone type shit. Yeah, and but, I feel like if it's in your pocket and that shit's ringing, you're just and like, nah, yeah, oh. I don't, I don't I feel know. like if anything in my your phone, pocket is more. My phone be in my hand most of the time, anyways. But, but but that's the thing when you're on a date, like it should just be like you two, like no phones. Yeah, yeah that's why you no. put it that way. Yeah, no, I, I get I get what you're saying though. Yeah, like, put it in your pocket makes sense. Mm. I don't know. I just my phone's rarely in my pocket. It's always in my hand. I think it's a strategic move to actually put it face down on the table. Why? Why? Because no, face down, not up. Oh but, yeah, yeah, it is a strategic. Yeah, it yeah is. of course. Because it is. yeah, like you said, when you put it down, it's kind of showing like yeah. All right, it's just me and you. My phone's like, it's down. And I can't see it. Yeah, you can't see it. Because sometimes if your phone's face down and you have it on vibrate, you can't hear the vibrate or feel yeah, it. The only way you're going to hear the vibrate is if someone's calling you. Yeah. yeah. Wait, but then why not just keep it in your pocket? Because then you're, you're forced I'm, to look at it's it. It's the same shit, but yeah. I'm saying when it's down. Nah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I think I it's more saying, showing her something like, I don't care what's on my phone. All right, so, but let's say... You're, I feel like we should have brought a girl today, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should have, honestly. <laughs> so, so let's say you're dating a girl, right? And like you guys have been dating for like a cool minute. Kiss them already. All right, so, so let's say you're, you're dating a girl, right? And you guys have been dating for a cool minute. Like, let's say like six months or whatever. Or like a couple months. Is it weird if she puts her phone face down like she's hiding something? No. No. Nah. No. That's another thing, too. Like, girls think, like, oh, he's putting his phone. Yeah, he that's what yeah. I'm he saying. He doesn't want to, um, yeah, he thinks you're hiding something. I get that, too. I, I've seen that before. I feel like, I don't know, it's definitely, like, people with trust issues or, like, stuff like that or past bad relationships. You got to think about that. Like, people go through trauma, so they're going to expect. It's like, it's like judging a book before you read it, especially judging by its cover. Yeah. Um. Uh, what's it called? Like you, you try to when people like expect the same thing from someone just because someone else did it. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, wait, you what said. What you think about that, Frank? What did you say? No, you okay. said if you're dating her for like six months already, and yeah, she puts and her like, phone down, puts her phone down. You think it's like a trust thing? I mean, I wouldn't probably think of it that much. Cause I know some people don't like it. Like if the phone's not in their pocket and it's on the table, they'd rather have the phone face up. Cause then it's like if it's in a relationship yeah, yeah. already. If, if it's in a relationship already, cause then it's kind of like if you have it face down, it's like they're getting notifications and uh, they don't want you to see it. Well, like, like the notifications. Well, you can't really see the notifications because you have to yeah. put your face. 
You have yeah. to put your face over it, so the notification is still gonna pop up. But, just, but you just yeah, but you still unless, see, yeah, you can little, see like a text unless the girl you're with Snapchat. is weird and she's gonna say like, "Oh, look, who, who the fuck is on Snapchat?" Okay, so if your girl's phone is face up and she gets a text message from, let's say it says Chance, <laughs> <laughs> and that phone's lighting up. Yeah, it's, it's just lighting three, up. ding, 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 and it says Chance. Then I'm fucking questioning that. <laughs> you shit. just said it's weird if the girl does that. What if the girl questions <laughs> me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he no. I was talking about her. I was like, I'm gonna obviously like question her. Wait, so for her, it's not okay, but for you, it is. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You're twisting <laughs> well, my mind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, twisting my mind. No, no, no. It's because my mind's twisted. <laughs> no, I thought Frank, you just said if your phone is face up, like she's not gonna say anything. Like, damn, like what the fuck is that? Okay, my phone's not gonna blow up like that though. Okay, I'm just saying. Do not disturb. It, if it does, D and D. Yeah. See this guy. <laughs> Look at this guy. You're playing check. You're playing chess. Right no, but no. I I I feel like uh like how you saying if you're dating someone and like like even if she had her phone down or up if it just started like busting like that I'd definitely be like yo what's, like what's to it like let me see your phone type shit. You would? <laughs> yeah. Like if it's like all right, I, you know I'll say it jokingly. I'll be like I'm like damn who's hitting your line? Yeah. I'm like yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I'm like, I'm like your side's hitting you. I'm like, who's that? <laughs> That's the other one. That's like yeah. a joke, right? Yeah, right, a joke. You gotta play it off, right? Uh, like I wouldn't take it seriously because you know you never know. It might be your sister, it might be your mom, it might yeah. be someone. And she's more That's like, like blowing her up. But she's more likely gonna show you, like, no, look, it's not. Type, type yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. It's like it's like I'm not upset because I can't. I'm not just gonna assume it's someone else. You know? Yeah. yeah. I'm not, it could be anything. If it's a first date, I would joke like that. But if it's like six months looking, I would be like. I would just grab that shit. You're, You're just grabbing grabbing your it? Phone. Wait, hold on, wait. So, just grab that phone. so first day, you would joke about it? <laughs> first day, I'll be like, damn, who's hitting you? Yeah. Shit, I think first day, I might just ignore that shit. Yeah, first day, I ain't judging. Save my, save my, my feelings. feelings. First day, I ain't judging. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like exactly. I feel that. That ain't exactly. my business. No? Yeah. I mean, first what? date, but like, what if you're talking to them for a while? Okay, okay. Yeah, if yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah, to them yeah, for a while, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, right but now, if, like, in our time yeah. of age, there's a lot of just talking over the phone before yeah. you yes, even go out yes, with someone. Exactly. There's a gang of that. But if it's exactly. like the first time, like, you guys ever kind of really like talked and like hung, hung out, out, I'm not yeah, gonna be I like, would, yo, because it's not my business. Like, like, bro, what? <laughs> You don't own nothing to me. Ah, like, bro, like, like you're fourth in the lineup. That's what she tells me. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> like, I just came back from breakfast with someone else, dude. Like, if man. that's the case, I'm dipping right there. You pay for my that, meal. I'm out. What you mean? What? I ain't tripping. Go ahead. You tell, all right, treat me like so a side. So you're telling me you're going to date with someone like that you're not talking to other people? Okay, I have, a, I have a, me, but her, she can't. <laughs> <laughs> I, on, got, I got, a, I got a follow up for that, right? Mm-hmm. First of all, how long should the talking stage last? I, why is there even a talking stage? Can we talk about that? Like, the, what is a talking stage? So you're going to hop right into... <laughs> Not like, like that. Like, if you're going to... If you feel like you want to... Like, obviously, you want to get to know someone, right? Yeah. yeah. But, like, if you have the idea of, um, like, wanting to be with this person, like, that's the reason why you want to know them, because you find them interesting, you know? Right. Yeah. So you should be... I feel like you should be loyal to that person from the first day you're talking to them. Obviously, you know, you don't want to get hurt like that. That's a lot of things with um, relationships now is like putting up that wall yep. yeah. and stuff like that. But like, bro, life's short. Like, you feel me? Like, if you're going to do it, do it. If you're going to be loyal to someone, be loyal to someone. Like, all the way through type deal. So are you saying like you should immediate, immediately just make that your girlfriend? No, no, not like that. Like, like you could be loyal to someone without being in a relationship, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. And you're loyal to yourself in that end. Like. Like, say you're talking to this girl, right? And you are you have, like, four other girls on the side, but you really like this one, and you really want to get to know this one more. Are you still going to be talking to these four other girls while you're still hanging out with this one girl that you really like out of the f- five girls you're talking to? Yes. Maybe. Because No, 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 no. Maybe. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Explain. Go, ahead, go, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead. Explain. Could, I, yes. It's understandable. I, I know what you're talking about. Could, said cause, yes. Because what if she doesn't feel the same way about you? Exactly. I, I and then that. it's like it's like so okay. you can't really cut off the girls the other girls yet. yeah because because all right like we all know how hard it is not how hard but like how much it sucks to like you kind of ghost like the other girls and then after when things don't work out like you hit you them back up back like a couple yeah, of weeks bro. Hey, and you're like hey, <laughs> hey stink. it's the worst like, shit yeah. it's horrible for sure hey remember me <laughs> <laughs> like damn you know i was going through something like, you know, I, I, they bad. know they fucking know <laughs> yeah. from the jump oh, man, yeah uh no I definitely I I, I understand that for sure because you want to like make sure that this person that you really like likes you too type shit yeah but that's kind of like that that trust you gotta put in, or not trust that that leap you feel me the or, leap of faith yeah type deal 
yeah. we're, you're young, you know, you got time to fail. Yeah, Especially, and that's with everything, not even relationships, like in general, type deal. No, I feel you. Yeah. You had a question too? No, go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> so, yeah, I, I get you with that too, but I think there's like, how long would you say that talking stage would last though? I mean, it's, you kind of just answered, you should, you don't believe in it, but like, I don't know, probably like, probably like a month or two. I, for me, Ooh. no, for me to, to be honest, Dog. to be honest, I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I, I post relationship content. I've never been in a relationship. What? what? Oh, never been in a relationship. You know what? Scam. I know scam. I tell my, I tell my, I tell my supporters all the time. I've never been in a relationship because, okay. It, it, what it is, bro. So when I talk to someone, it's yeah. like three months. Three, I I give three months because within that three months, either either I don't I, like I feel like I'm really good at reading people. I don't know, and like I can build ideas and like stuff like that with futures and all that. So I can tell if I'm either gonna really grow with this person or I'm really not gonna grow with them within that three months of talking to you. So either at that three months, either you know she does me bogus or we come to a, a mutual agreement, or I just feel like you know we're not gonna go anywhere. Like your path is not the same as my path. So I feel like three months is a good talking area. What you do you think? Do you date to marry or date to be in a, like for experience? Um, I don't know. I've never dated. Never but, dated. Like I've I've talked to people. Like I've I've been I I've been loyal to someone for like three months, but then like it never really works out. But I'm saying like when you're looking for it, like are you oh yeah like, for okay. sure. I I feel like I, I when I look into someone, I look into like bro. It's weird. I be thinking like. So I'd be thinking of like if if they could do like the entertainment industry with me, if they can, um, if they like match my like being out type deal, because I'm a very sociable person. Uh, if they can, if they're cool around my friends, if like I yeah, like to basically a date to marry type shit. Because like if I can't do everything that I do with you by myself, like why would I want to be with you? Like if I can't do the same shit. So yeah. this is kind of a little off topic, but do you believe in like soulmates? soulmates yeah like I don't, I don't know i don't know to be honest i feel like i feel like it's hard to like even say that like because there's there's people that you fall in love with like for real and but they don't fall in love with you type shit or like you could fall in love with them and just it doesn't go right or so something. have you fell in love with someone before no nah, i don't th- i don't think i have oh okay damn that's crazy do you guys believe in soulmates um yes I feel like no. Nah. I do. If anything, I feel like I don't know if this is like soulmates, but I feel like there's multiple soulmates. Mm. I feel I, like I feel like what it is, I feel like everyone has a time in your life. Like you grow out of people, you know? Yeah. Like maybe that person that you're with, you were like had the best six years of your life. But for some reason something happened or like life happened and y'all just don't mess with each other the same. Like it was but that person was meant to come in there and right, like meant teach, to teach you teach something. You, okay. you yeah. grew from that point. You I know? think that too. Yeah. I think that too. Do you guys do you guys believe in like looking for love? But no, I don't. No, know. no, no. That shit pop out of nowhere. Yeah, it comes out of nowhere. For that sure. shit starstruck. Yeah. Literally, bro. Like I I tell people like like especially with my relationship content like you can't look for love you look for it, you're never gonna find it yeah. yeah no you won't it's gonna come to you it's so much better sure. when it's not forced exactly yes, when bro. it's just natural it has to yeah. be natural yeah. if it's forced it's like it's there's always awkward moments it's just weird mm-hmm. it's not into me would yeah. you would you ever date a girl that you met at the club i don't know probably it, it, just because they're at the club doesn't mean anything yeah, yeah. That could be, that could be uh, she could be making millions right now. If she just came to the club, you know, or she could be a cool ass person, you know. What do you she think? Could be at the club just to have fun. I don't know. It depends on what, like, what what she's doing in the club. Too. All right, what did she let you hit the first night? Oh man, I don't know. See, that's that's hard. <laughs> that's a good question. That's hard. Can you take a girl serious after she let you have sex the first night? I want to hear that. I'm like okay, the first day I'm meeting her, first or, day, or like the first day I'm ever talking to this girl, meeting this girl, no, or no, like no. you mean like I've been talking to her, and the first day we linked, we like linked. social media wise, is that what you mean? Like I mean, talking general, like like I know this girl for a while, and then like the first time I ever linked with her, like you know what I'm saying? It mm. depends. Like I'm no, confused. no, no. You go you go out to a club one night, you guys both vibe together all night, pick up this girl, and then take a pick up, trip. and shit happens. I mean, I don't know. It depends. I, I don't know about taking her serious because I feel like she knows what she's doing and I know what I'm doing. You know, like you yeah. met me at a club. It, we're out here doing whatever. But if like that next morning or if she even spent the night and like we're talking and like, you know, we find out we're cool or whatever. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> if she even spent the night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some people be like that. They come over. Yeah. That is what it is. And then they leave. Right. They know what they're doing. They're just there to get them. You feel me? 
I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't take that shit serious. Now, what about the other scenario? Let's say you guys were talking for like two weeks, two okay. or three weeks on social media, whatever, here and there. And then you link up and you guys fuck. I mean, I probably have an idea of like what she's about, you know? Like within two weeks, I feel like you know someone, kind of. Like you know what their intentions are. So I feel like you guys will be at an understanding. You got to be upfront with people. You got to be 100%. If you're 100%, there will be no complications. Yeah. Like if, you tell, like if that girl came to you and she just told you like, I think you're cute. I like, I like, I like how you move, but I don't want a relationship and I just want to hit. Like, cool. I'm hitting. I don't think For some sure. girls, I don't think a girl would come at you like that. At yeah. all. No, they wouldn't. They, no, wouldn't. they wouldn't at all. They wouldn't. But that's why you got to But that's why it. you got to be yeah, the one you, to be yeah. like, you can't. Obviously, you got to be, be bold. Like, yeah, you can't be like, yo, let me just hit. Like, that's yeah. all I want. You, you got to persuade. Type shit. Talk. I would <laughs> you're trying to trick females. No. <laughs> you just got to use your mouth. You got to persuade them. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that, fool. You got to use your mouthpiece is what I mean. You just got to have game, bro. No, I mean, yeah, but the, I feel like when people say, like, with the game stuff, it's kind of like, like that, like, when I've watched, like, my cousins or, you know, obviously you watch movies and stuff. It's like they kind of trick them, like, yo, we're going to be in a relationship just to hit. And yeah. like, that's how females get hurt or people get hurt in general. Oh, so you care about feelings. Of course. Uh, <laughs> You're right. a human being. Come on. <laughs> why you say it like that? Know. Fucking what, evil. What's, what's your zodiac? I'm a Gemini, bro. That's why. You, you believe, you believe in, in zodiac? <laughs> nah, I mean, I, there's definitely truth to it, bro. I don't think, you think like, so? there's definitely, okay, look, there's no way, Um, or, my bad. I'm not saying I'm not the person to be like, oh, because you're this, this is all, obviously this is you, but there's <laughs> definitely truth to zodiacs. Like, if you read what? your Zodiac, there's definitely something in there that you're like, yeah, I do that. Or, yeah, that's kind of like me. That shit is bullshit. Why? What are you? I'm a Pisces. Pisces what what is like? What is it? Pisces are like emotional. Um, <laughs> <You laughs> emotional, understanding, like stuff like that. Like, oh. uh, they, they be falling in love. Like, bro, like when I talk to someone, I catch feelings like fast, like super fast. Wow. Like, I could talk to someone for like a week and be like, I'm fully invested to this person. And then be super hurt next week when they stop talking to me. Damn. So that's why you do that relationship shit. <laughs> that relationship. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> just kidding. No. So what do you think is the best way to get over like a heartbreak then? Uh, completely erase them from everything. No. Delete, block, shit Bro, like that? Out of there. How are you going to get over someone if you look at their stuff every day? You don't. You just don't let you. You won't get over them. But that's petty. How is it petty? How's that petty? It's I, not. I, what it's if not they're petty? Are they? T- are they? Are they still trying to get at you? Like, okay, what's the? What's the? What thing? if they unblock you and like, all right, cool. <laughs> we just go our separate ways. Cool. Yeah. Just, sure. Are you gonna, you gonna go your separate way though? Or are you gonna be sitting there like, man, I really miss you. Oh my god. No, I'll like, go my separate. Well, I mean, it'll her. take time, but yeah. Yeah, I'll go my separate way eventually. Yeah. Same. Nah, but I feel like you it's so much faster it. when you just like I unfollow them. To yeah, I mean, shit. you don't even hit the block now. There's mute buttons. <laughs> you can mute on Snapchat. Yeah, 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 you can yeah. mute on Instagram. Like, as I, long as I don't see it, like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like if you do block, you're going to be more invested in wanting to look back to see how they're doing. Yeah, no, no I don't think I feel like that too. Yeah. Fuck no. Yeah. Fuck no. Yeah. Like, yeah. They're gone. Yeah, if yeah, anything, if gone. anything is going to be like sight, that, out of mind. Yeah, if anything is going to be like that for like a few, like, you know, like days or maybe a week. But then, like, once you, like, power through that shit, it's like... Yeah, but if you guys ended off cool, like, what's oh, the yeah, point? Oh, yeah, if you ended off cool, yeah, for sure. But I'm, I'm talking about, like, a breakup, like, either she left you or, or you left them or, like, some, some shitty happened. And you're just like, man, I really want to be with this person, but I can't. Well, what if she just broke up with you because she just wasn't ready or whatever the fucking excuse was? And she was like, but I still want to be cool. Fuck that. Well, yeah, I mean, to you, me. yeah, to you, me. that's probably gonna, that's probably gonna hurt. No, yeah, that's that shit would hurt, hurt. But I don't know if I'd go Man, that extreme. Y'all never seen that uh, that TikTok where he's talking about uh, like that excuse to like I need to go work on myself, and uh, that's why I can't talk to you. But that's not a real excuse. Y'all never seen that? I've heard know. of that. Do you no. believe in what that excuse? Wait, yeah. What is it? It's like it's like like okay, you dating someone, and that yeah. girl's like, oh, I can't be with you right now because I feel like I need a lot to work on myself. Like they're not gonna be able to like that person. You're there to help them work on themselves, you know? Like, when you're in a relationship, you're, you're there to help each other grow. Yeah. If you leave that person, how are you going to ke- continue growing? You have nothing to learn off of. Like, obviously, you could grow by yourself, but, like, that part that you're saying that you need to work on yourself and, like, love or relationship or whatever. Uh, like, I never heard of that. You know <laughs> no, I've heard that that girl excuse. That's right, right. yeah. I've heard that. I mean, yeah. I, I've heard, I can't I've lie. Used I've, used, I've, I've used, used that shit, <laughs> too. I've used it back I in high school, <laughs> for sure. Like, yeah, I definitely but I've used seen, that like, shit. Yeah, the TikTok, he, was t- he, he went more in depth about it, but, like, he was basically saying, like, that's not a real excuse because you're supposed to grow with each other, like, type deal. Uh, I don't know. 
Nah, you don't go with each other. So. You Wait, have to go with each other. What make you not bro. ready for a relationship? You want? You just want to fuck. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, okay, then. Well, yeah. Yeah. I think I just fucking bitches. You don't fuck hoes. Yeah. I understand that, but like, then you know what your intentions are in the beginning. Like, yeah, then that that's not I'm, really working on yourself. No, then. Yeah, I'm talking about like, right. uh, like, <laughs> yeah. But. I feel like that excuse is more like when you're talking to someone and you feel like it's getting serious, and that's when someone would be like, oh, I need to work on myself. Like, I, I feel like I can't do this right now. It's ideal. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, I get that. Motherfucker knows. I know. knows about shit. talking. She wrote a story. She wrote a book. <laughs> about you so I, like, i've what? used that shit. chances games you've used it i've used it i've definitely yeah. used it so used were you it. actually serious when I, you used it you actually thought i'm ending this because i feel like i need to grow it Over was you. it was like two two years three years ago and then i was like with like talking to this girl and then i was like damn she's cute whatever i thought she was really cute i was vibing with her but then i was like fuck i want to fuck some bitches so that's not you working on yourself. That's you but being a like, <laughs> I had to use that excuse. No, that's because like, you didn't want to be rude, right? You're yeah, like, I yeah. need to work on myself. Like, no, <laughs> no that's what I like. I can't be in. A like, honestly, I'm not looking for a relationship yeah. right now. That's what you. I'm, I'm just not looking for a relationship. Don't be like, I need to work on myself. I'm trying. Yeah, to, I'll just be straight up sometimes. <laughs> I can't be do that straight. Not up straight shit. up, but like, I'll be like, no, what, like, what you trying to do, bro? Like, I'll put the eyes emoji, like the one, like. I was that being straight up. <laughs> that is. You're beating around the bush. Yeah, exactly. I'll put the eyes and then you trying to fuck. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I won't do that. <laughs> you believe in that, Logan? What? You think that's a valid excuse? To, uh, to become single? Yeah. I mean, if you want to be single, then yeah, that's like a that's dope a, ass. That's that, a good It's a good one. excuse. It's but best ever. But like... <laughs> Is that a truthful excuse? 90, no. 90, 95% of the time, no. <laughs> if, if you're in a relationship and your significant other says, look, I need to work on myself, they just want to be single. Like, th- yeah. they just want to be single. Yeah, for sure. For sure. They, they want to sure. go out, they want to have fun, and they just want to be single without having to, like, hear you, like, bitch or complain or just whatever not See, just not have to worry about you in the back of their mind yeah. but why why do you gotta bitch and complain if someone's going out no i'm not no i get you though yeah I get you though. I, I'm, I'm just saying for sure like that's another thing like i, I get it like i like why are you like um what's it you know how like people be like don't date a bad bitch if you can't handle a bad bitch yeah yeah. yeah like straight up like if you're worried about your girl going out and having fun you think like because we know how guys are you feel yeah me? it's gonna yes, happen bro. it's yeah. gonna happen but you gotta mm-hmm. have that trust in your girl yeah straight up yeah. and if you don't then what you're not ready. Then you're not ready. You, like, go find another one. Yeah. Bro, I'm sorry, she's yeah. too bad for you. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you you need to work on yourself. You need that's, to get like, that's confidence. That's yourself. Yeah, that's, your, that's yeah. what that's I'm saying. Yes, I think yes. I think like when you're over here, when you trip too much on like your girl doing this, that. Do you? I think. And what do you think? Do you think that's like insecurity? No, oh, for sure. On the guy. For yeah. Sure. Is it more insecurity or is it more trust issues? I think it's both, but if uh, I think insecurity does play a big role because you're thinking like, oh, there's like better looking men out there trying to get on my girl, and she's gonna let him. Yeah, because they're better looking. But like, bro, you're with her. Like, she got she love you. you yeah, know, remember that. But no, nah, it definitely comes back to the trust issue too because you have past relationships yeah. where it's yeah. happened. Yeah, for so sure. How do you? How would you get over that? How do you heal? Do you? Do you have to be like? I can't be in a relationship if I still feel like this. Uh man. <laughs> I think so. I don't know. Yeah, if you if you feel like you can't you can't let your girl out go and have fun with their her friends or whatever because you're worried about other people. Um yeah, I feel like you you need to you need to do something about yourself for real or you need to you need to build that trust with your girl. Like you need to talk to her and be like, "Look, I'm going to let you go out or like whatever. You got to talk about it." If you guys don't talk like close mouths don't get fed type yeah. shit. Like, this dude like has all the sayings. I like I like this I shit. Know, this, for real, this guy's spitting quotes. Right? <laughs> yeah, this like, like so so crazy or whatever that guy's what, what do you think, Logan? Uh, nah, I feel the same way. I feel like if you're insecure and yeah, like obviously it does go down if you're like always like bitching or complaining when your mm-hmm. girl's going out and with then your friends or whatever. I mean, of course there is like some certain like circum- circumstances. Like you know, like let's say um she's going to a party but her ex is there oh, okay. like like i like you know like <laughs> that, that, that could kind of be like a reason to kind of be mad at her especially if she knows but then it's like if she's just going to a club with all her like girlfriends it's like and you're over here kind of like yo why the fuck are you going like blah 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 blah, blah. then it's just kind of like what you're like you're insecure 
but then also too like trust issues does play a big role because you know what if you got cheated on in the past or whatever but like i feel like if that still plays a big part of like your insecurities then you're not ready for a relationship and you need to let yourself heal and you need to like <laughs> not yet <laughs> nah, but, but yeah for sure, I, I, what, <laughs> with another thing too like what i think people need to work on is like not moving an old mindset on a new person yeah yeah cheat, like, facts. like if you like you get cheated on or whatever like you can't exp- like oh, okay i'm gonna go talk to this person and like they're gonna do the same thing as the last person you can't do that like this is a whole, yeah, new, a whole person. new person like oh bro like you ever had a girl like tell you like they remind you of your ex or like, like oh hell bro, no that shit pisses me I, I I haven't, but I have not. I have, bro. That's so what? annoying. I have, bro. I would be like, oh my dude, God. shut the fuck up. Bro, I'd probably tell me, get out. That's dude. a goner, right? Yeah, I, was, yeah, I just I say, let me hit. To this girl, I was talking to this girl, right? And um, you know, she was like in a in a bad relationship, past whatever, and she uh uh like her boyfriend would never let her go out. Would like like slut shamer, like if she wore different like clothes that like reveal too much or whatever. Damn. Bro, tell me I take this girl, right? I, I I compliment this girl. I compliment like it was my girl type deal. Like I would compliment her. every day I see her, she I would take her to go to parties with me and my friends. Bro, the next day she talking about some, oh you remind me of my ex. Like my I'm like your ex never let you out. Your ex never let you wear clothes you wanted to wear. I'm doing the complete opposite. Hi, okay, yeah. I'm like, how I remind uh, you of your ex, bro? That makes no uh, sense. What the bro. fuck? Like bro. literally, like I feel like she at the point, like at the end of that, like she kept like um I was fighting for the relationship more than she was. Yeah. Like we she probably tried to break up with me like three times while we were talking within like three months. Like and you'd be fighting for it. I was fighting for it. <laughs> fighting for it. But at like the end of the day, I was over it. I'm like, I'm like, look, so I was like, I was like, it's cool. Like I was at work when it happened at the end of it. And she was like, she was just giving me so many examples. She's like, we have nothing in common and this, this, and that, bro. I'm sitting there listing things we have in common. She was blue. She was blue. She was blue. Cause I, was, I, was, I was spitting facts. I was oh spitting facts. God. And she was upset. But I, at that, bro, I was at work. I was getting pissed. I was like, look, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to oh go home. My. I'm going to go home, grab your stuff, drop it off. And then I go and drop it off. She's like, we're not going to talk about it. I'm like, I was, like, I was just talking to you for like three hours over the phone. Oh, like, hey, hey, arguing at work? Fucking irritating. Sucks. Bro, irritating. Worse you could have fuck. you could have an eight hour shift. That shit will feel like sixteen yeah. hours. Yes, you're bro. just fucking I mad as argue. fuck. Yeah, okay. I, I haven't that argued that that shit is work. horrible. No. Dude, that's like the fucking top five worst things ever. Yeah. For sure. I worked in I worked in customer service a lot of my life, so oh. I, I kinda like I, I you gotta learn how to like not bring your outside life into work. Yeah, right? yeah, it's, yeah. It's really hard to yeah. because like especially if you work with people. And you have a negative ass energy to you when you walk into this work. They're not gonna like talk to you. You're not gonna get tips. You're not gonna get sales. Whatever you're in. Yeah. Really. And you don't want to make your day worse. Um, you yeah. Having your managers on your ass. Mm. Do you, Do you guys think that exes could still be friends? No. 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 <laughs> do I? Uh, what do you think? Uh, not right away. Fuck no. Like like if you're with the girl and she's still not friends right away. With her ex, cause like what do you, that? No 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 like. No, like in like general, me, like I said, no, like like say like you're with the girl, you guys break up, but you yeah. guys are like, oh, let's stay, like we'll just stay friends, let's just cause yeah, cool. nah, know. bro, you think that's cool? cool? Fuck I, that, it's that's cool. It, like, bro, once you kiss someone, it's never gonna be the same. So nah, like bro. for real, like. You'll never yeah, get over true. that motherfucking yeah, female. Yeah, you could. Well, I mean, you'll get over it, but still, it's just never, it's always going to nah. be, you're not going to be friends. You're going to have those sexual intentions all the time. Damn, it's just going to be awkward. It's an awkward ass <laughs> Like, like come like, get this shit. To thing. me, to me, like, once you guys break up, you guys have to, like, in order for you to really get over it, you guys have to, like, not talk yeah. for probably, like, a couple months. Yeah. Maybe yeah. a year. Yeah. Like, zero. It. Zero. You know, you're right. You're just, right. I changed just spend time yeah, away from then, each other. Yeah, because then as soon as you guys start talking a little bit, it could be for a week you hang out, then you just went back. Backwards, you're probably like in a couple months. Yeah, you're not gonna, even that in that week of hanging out, y'all gonna fuck again. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you're, you're catching, for sure. You're for catch, sure. Yeah. catching feelings, sure. doing dumbass shit. Like, like dumb why did we break shit. up? Yeah, dumbass like, shit. And then like a week later, y'all fighting again. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, stop, stop being toxic. And uh, <laughs> nah, <it's not> me. <laughs> all right. Oh, you go ahead. Now, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, so, do you guys think that it's easier to get over a girl if the relationship ended bad or if it ended good? Bad. Like, bad. 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 I'm gonna say good. If it's easier to go huh? with, like what okay, bad I'm bad trying to like think. She, Let me think. Bad as in like she cheated on you type shit. 
Yes, and then way good, at, good as in I like, feel like no, okay, what's good? Good as in just like you know what, like yeah, just you know, like yeah, like it's just, just we're both mutual. not feeling it. Mutual. I feel breakup. like it would be easier if you're oh, yeah. both not feeling it. No. It'd, be, it'd be okay. No, that let's say easy. she broke up with you. If you oh, still wanted to be, in, that's hard, bro. If you it think was that's good, harder than getting cheated she, on? No, no. I'm saying if she broke up and you, you still wanted to be in it, that would be hard to get yeah, over. Yeah, it's very but hard. But if you guys were both like mutual, like okay, we're not cool for each other, like that would be. I if she cheated on me, I'm gonna be dog upset. Yeah. yeah upset like i'll be it would take me a while i probably want to go I, like, I would be upset but i think it would be easier because it's just like this bitch don't want me like fuck that no yeah i mean in my own head i've definitely told myself that if i ever got cheated if i have i have but like if i got cheated on, i'm instantly like feelings are completely lost like i have no feelings for you like, yeah you cheat, bro, i you feel like it's, it's easier said than done though oh for that, sure that, that's it, yeah. way easier because you could love someone and love is blinding you'll, you'll sure. be sick to your fucking stomach literally Ooh. Yeah, but if it ended good, like she broke up with me and it was just like I she can't do this no more, and I was just like whatever. I think it would be harder no, because that's, yeah, that's what we're saying. If yeah. you still wanted to be in it, yeah, yeah for sure. But yeah. I said it like if y'all both were just like we're both cool off each other, then you yeah. said easier if it ended good. Yeah, I think it's yeah. easier. Why? Why? Yeah. Why? You think if they cheated, it's easier? Yeah, because yes. because well, to me, if someone cheats on me, they're dead to me. Yeah, like, they're dead see, to but me you too. Just said it's easier said than done though. Yeah, but still, it's just like they're they're fucking dead to me. To me, like, but, that's, but, but, what I, that's what I say. Yeah. Like, it is easier like, said than done, but, but fuck it, I'm gonna do it. All right, like, yeah. but yeah. Why no. why is it easier if it's like not that way? Well, because to me, like, if you get cheated on, like, fuck, I don't even know. Like, you must feel like like shit. No, no, like yeah. you you got fucking cheated on. Like, it, yeah, you, you were showing the most love or whatever, and you got fucking. Also, also too, if I got cheated on, like the number one question I would ask myself is like, what did why? I do? Like, yeah, yeah, like why what was I? Do? Why That's wasn't what I enough? That's what, what I'm I saying. Like, why fuck them. Enough? Like he said, like the feeling. That's just a confidence killer. Yeah, yeah it's gonna ass. fuck your confidence bad. That shit. Uh, that's way h- harder to to yeah. get over. I Damn. think when you said good, you meant like as if you guys were both like, like we're cool off each other, like both mutually broke up. That's what you meant by good. Or did you mean like if she broke up with you? Uh, I think either one. I think cheating is like the worst. Oh shit. yeah, cheating is the worst. But yeah, I definitely feel like it'd be hard. Like if she broke up with you and you wanted to still be in there, that's yeah. hard. Cheating yeah, that's is hard. the worst. Yeah, actually, yeah, I might be with you because cheating would have like a long term effect. Long term, like, you're gonna I, see every girl and start thinking about like, that like, shit, bro. Like, I don't even know how you get over that. You're yeah. just a dog. I, I would never trust a girl after that. Yeah, like turn I would, dog. I would turn into like Cujo or some yeah. shit. Like, <laughs> Like he comes, face. does on this side, does on here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Drake. Come on, though. OVO. So after, <laughs> let's say, let's say you're in a relationship with a girl, right? She ends it. Let's say she uses that excuse. I need to work on myself. A month later, she's with a guy, full on relationship. Oh, then she was talking to him yeah, the whole she was time, bro. The whole time. Is that'd that be even more blue? <laughs> I'll be, I'll be that'd so be, upset. bro. Is she that, was fucking him behind your back the whole yeah, time. Is that what that I means? would? I would completely think that. I'd be like, yeah, she was over here talking to dude way before a month after y'all broke up. Yeah. That's bullshit. I would wait till like two years, a year. I don't know about no two years. Damn. A year. A year. I don't know about no. What year. the fuck? <laughs> you could probably hop back the, in a couple yeah, months. A couple months. Like six. Like, I, like in okay. another relationship. Couple months. How long are you talking? Uh, uh, how long are you talking I'm to taking this person? Taking it. How long are you talking to this person that you just broke up with? Um. Like two, all right. Two years. I, I don't know. I never got to. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, y'all do your thing. Fuck. You think you could hop back into a relation just a couple months after your relationship? I think like it's his question, like his question too. It depends how how long that was with that person. Oh, the two right. years, two years, Joe. Let's say you're with him for two years. I don't even know how I feel about something. The fuck. Maybe you could hop back in in like eight months. But, no. But the thing nah, is, the, nah. No, no, no. The a year is, and something months. Like, you would not least. want to though, because for two years you were fucking in cuffs. You yeah. couldn't do shit. Yeah. So and then you, now you're gonna want to be like, yeah. Wanna, you want to dog wanna, out these three years? Fuck. These three years you want to dog out? Fuck I that. Fuck some not everyone has that mentality though. Yeah, everyone should get that mentality. Yeah, they should. Right after you <laughs> blow up, bag up, do what you got to do, get I mean, a bag. I mean, yeah, you can focus on your money, but why, why, why pussy got to be involved? Because it feels good. Good. Because <laughs> it distracts you from the last pussy you had. <laughs> I get that. Though. Yeah, I, don't know. Know. I definitely know some people that just don't like being, you know, they be out there. People don't, you know, people got bougie, um, bougie dick straight <laughs> up. <laughs> Okay. Bougie dick. Bougie dick. 
<laughs> oh my just, god! Can't be fucking on anyone. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on a shirt. Bougie dick. I got, <laughs> like, you got, go. got bougie dick. You can't be fucking on everybody, bro. Of course not. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course you gotta have standards. Yeah. But if she's a bad bitch, what? You are gonna pass her? That's bougie dick. That's bougie dick. All right. All right. So who do you think? goes through the bigger whole phase after a relationship the guy or the girl i feel like guys 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 i feel like girls definitely worry about their body count a lot because it's just been so like put out there that girls can't have high body counts oh yeah yeah but it's, it's what definitely do y'all, what do y'all a stereotype think about? I, I, y'all talked about this right about who's like, more yeah, have a little bit yeah. y'all talked about high body counts type stuff yeah yeah what were you, but gonna you gotta think about it like girls like to fuck as much as guys yeah you can't be upset who's yeah. hornier Guys, girls, girls, girls are pretty both. horny. I both think they're horny. both. I, I think, think they're both. both. I, I think guys, guys are just more open about it. Yeah, yeah. girls have con- self control. Sure, I be horny about all the time. They be horny. <laughs> yeah, I be horny, I'm, man. I'm kind of horny right now, just talking about this shit. Come on, oh dog. my god, <laughs> <laughs> next to me. <laughs> yo, hey, yo, chill. I had, ba- I, had, I, had, I had a bat wing, bro. I had a bat wing. He, right? was, he was touching his shit. <laughs> <out>. <laughs> I, had, I had bat wing. It's oh, hot in here. Hell no, bat wing. <laughs> you got boner. <laughs> just a little chub. <laughs> It's just a little chubby. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my bro. god! Come Who on, wants man. to play chubby bunny? Cut, 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 cut. Chubby pause, bunny. Pause, pause, pause. <laughs> Yo, what if he said chubby <laughs> bunny? <laughs> Wait. So, a high body count on a girl is fine to you? I don't think. Okay, I don't think it's fine because obviously people, you gotta respect your own body at that point. Like, are these like, what's a high body count to you? Fuck. It depends on age too. Yeah, for sure. You can think about it. When you're 40, I'm feel I feel like most people are gonna be over like 10, 12 bodies. Okay, what if she's at 12 right now or 21? <laughs> um, You've been ran through a little bit. I don't know. I mean, bro. it depends on who How it is. How many bodies are you guys at at 21? Think about We've it. Like never, that. Uh, I'm a virgin. Who's more likely to expose their body count first? It's okay, bro. We'll get you there one day. Uh, I'm, virgin, I'm a virgin now. Yeah, marriage. <laughs> yeah, marriage. Nice. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> exposing your body count. Yeah, who's more likely to like be like cool with? Expo- I feel like when a people girl? even ask about body count, I feel like it's childish. Like it's kind of like high school. Ooh, what's your body count? So, so you don't ask? Yeah, if you're in a relationship, would you ask their body count? I wouldn't. I wouldn't really want to know. If they ask me, I don't. I mean, if they ask me, I'll ask. <laughs> Big deal. Yeah. But you don't want to know. I wouldn't care. It's like that's the past. The fuck? So if it's just like fucking twenty five, no, I think you so on too. That? Yeah, I think so. No, too. I get that. I de- I feel like it, it's definitely people's mindset. It's how you think yeah. about it. You know, um, me personally, like if I was talking to a girl and like you know we've been talking for like say like a year and she asked me and I told her and she tells me and her number's higher than mine, I definitely feel some type of way. But yeah. at the end of the day, she's been loyal to me for this whole year. And I really like this girl. Like, like yeah, those past those past bodies can't do anything. Same, same, same bro. Same. So, so do you think yeah. caring about a uh, body count is like kind of re- a result of your confidence? Like, if you care, you have like kind of low confidence. If you don't, then you have a high confidence. What? I don't think about confidence. I think it's more like I think thinks I think that's more of like a maturity thing. Yeah. Because it's like. Bro, you, you fuck. Everyone fucks. Everyone fucks. Everyone fucks. Everybody's Everybody, horny. Yes, yeah, like everyone fucks. Like you can't worry about that shit. Like, Dogs, cats, obviously everything. Obviously, it's a thing, but like it depends, bro. Like if she's out here like doing dicks, but you could be out here doing <laughs> coochie, like straight up. Yeah. Like, it's the same thing. It's just you know make sure you're clean, make sure you're straight on that, get checked. Yeah. Every every every, every, two, every six month, month every, every six months, yeah, some do something like that. Every time you fuck, get checked. You know, just make sure you cool. Don't be out here giving people bumps and shit. <laughs> or For crab. Real. That's disgusting. Bikini bottom. Bikini bottom. Ooh. Ew. Little sandy cheeks. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about sharing locations in a relationship? I think I think it's like if I'm why? why would why wouldn't you want to? I would want to know where my girls are. I don't <laughs> like it. Yeah, I don't like it either. Why? Because I, what are you have hiding? You, have you ever had it though? What are you hiding? No. Have you ever had it? It's just privacy. I don't know. I, I guess yeah i wouldn't care I no mean, if, if she asks if she asks in my and with my experience with it i don't like it now because i was constantly checking she she would lie on me for like an hour and then like but i was insecure as fuck back then I'd, I'd be checking it and be for like sure. i'd be like what the fuck she's at home she's not responding to me 
<laughs> she's getting boned <laughs> like like that no, yeah for shit. sure yeah i get that I but then like that. now 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 <laughs> that he thought like that yeah. what oh, the fuck? No. <laughs> all right i know yeah <laughs> I thought nah, like that, nah, but I didn't think that. Yeah, she's like, at the crib getting fucked, and I can't even fuck at the crib. Yeah. <laughs> but then it, in reality, she's like taking like a, a three hour nap. Right. Just, right. just got off of school like or some that. shit. It'd be like that. It, that's another. Yeah, you just gotta. People be busy, bro. And people. <laughs> yeah. And then. She's but, probably sleeping. For sure. But also, like. With somebody else. I just, yeah. don't, I just don't wanna hear no, like, I wasn't on my phone. To, bro, everyone is on their phone. Yeah. I'm, yeah. You're on my phone. Uh, you're on your phone as much as I'm on my mm-hmm. phone. You have to be, bro. In the world but, we live in. Because yeah, the same but, but way also, you keep your phone on you is the same. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, but also sometimes, like, you just be like. You forget about it. Yeah, like I'd be on TikTok scrolling, I'll get a text. I do not want to respond to that shit. Cause then yeah. you gotta like you, you gotta go it. back, swipe. It's like a whole entire fucking process, bro. Just <laughs> tap the fucking message at the top, you're there. Just swipe back lazy. up, you go back. Just stop no, being but, lazy. Cause then you respond fast, she responds fast. And then now you gotta keep responding fast. Yeah. Well, yeah. you wanna talk to your girl, no? I don't do that shit. Bro, sometimes you don't. Yeah, sometimes sometimes yeah. you just be like, fuck, let me go on TikTok for like a minute. Well then just tell her be like, hey babe, I don't want to talk right now. Yeah, I'm busy <laughs> oh, right now. Oh hell no, you're yeah, crazy. Fuck that. Nah. You're too honest. Oh. You're too <laughs> motherfucking yeah, honest. I don't want to talk right now. <laughs> well, okay, obviously I want to say it like that. Why don't you want to talk right now? <laughs> That's what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Who you with? Who you <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Why don't you want to talk? Come over then. Say my name. Yeah. <laughs> ah, like we can scroll on TikTok together. That's it. Oh hell no. <laughs> scrum. Hey, if you're with a girl for like, let's say like a year, right? Okay. Do you think you do have to text her like constantly? No, you like I, that? you should for a healthy relationship. You should not have to text someone twenty four seven. You get okay. bored of each other. Yeah. I think so too. You I gotta think, live yeah. your separate lives. That's you guys are two different people. Texting, texting is mad boring. I hate boring. texting, bro. I would much rather talk on the phone. Yes, bro. Nah, FaceTime. Fuck texting. Even pull fa- up. Bro, FaceTime, FaceTime with the fucking phone up. I don't give a fuck. No, I don't know about that. Sounds that's more clear. You, you like you like I, seeing the face I on like FaceTime? I like talking to face. That's why yeah. I'm FaceTiming yeah. for. Uh, oh, okay. Like, yeah, it, obviously. I, I, I get yeah. it, though. For sure, like, people, like, put their phone down or whatever. But, like, if we're both sitting in our beds and I'm... Yeah. Nice, nice silly. I'm be upset with you. Like, yeah. nice Okay, silly. do you care if they're paused? No. I mean, sometimes. It depends. Depends where they're at. What if it randomly it pauses too much? <laughs> like, she's getting a phone call. And then she'll tell you she's getting a phone call. Yeah. No, she keeps just fucking nah, she's up. cheating on you. Uh, <laughs> she's she's cheating on you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, do, do you believe in sharing passwords? You think that's a healthy thing in a relationship? I mean, if you have nothing to hide, I don't see why not. So going through wow. phones is cool? So no, see that that's a trust issue. That's that's you being insecure. Like I had to go to your th- through your phone like once a week type shit. Like why oh, would you yeah. want to do that? Nah. Like I don't care. Like hey, yeah, go ahead, go on my phone. Go ahead, like go on Snapchat or something. Or like if I tell her like, yo, babe, go on my phone and like call my sister and she doesn't know my password, or but she would know my password or something. Oh like yeah, that. you feel me? Like no, that, no, yeah, that, like that that's stuff. Cool, yeah, that's cool. but um, like yo, let me get your phone to check it like once a week. To, that's like insecure. Are there yeah. people like that? Yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah. I know, I know people like that. Yeah. Like, let me check it once a week. Trust yes. issues. Yeah. For sure. Oh, that's once, fucking crazy. Once a week. Horse they have it scheduled. <laughs> time, time it's like a every day when they see you type shit. Every day they see you. Let me see your phone. Like, that's a turn off. Super. It's a big turn off. But I think yeah. like if, if that's a, if that becomes a thing, you basically did it to yourself or whoever did it. For whoever started it. Yeah. Whoever started it did it to themselves. Mm-hmm. What do you get? Do you guys think when, um, when like girls call like celebrities fine and stuff, you think that's a turn off? Nah. Nah. I'm not even tripping. Nah, it no. depends on what, how obsessed about, they are though. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Okay. Not even celebrities. What about like TikTokers and like YouTubers or stuff like that? Ooh, I, not even. I, I, no, I think bro, I celebrities upset. too. Celebrities too, bro. Come on. I know. I know <laughs> a lot of females that like Trippy Red, The Game, like all these guys be in uh, DMs that are like, have like a thousand five hundred followers or like yeah. five hundred followers. Like yeah, it don't matter, bro. It They're bad. Man. They're bad. Like people yeah. are gonna look at them. So so here's my here's <laughs> my real. thing. Here's my thing. If like she thinks that like Michael B. Jordan is fine as fuck, I'm gonna be kind of like, all right, like, yeah, that's like, okay. like yeah, like he is fine as fuck. You and Michael <laughs> B. Jordan, bro. But yeah, I, I I get that. Like, but then it, if she like, thinks like. Like trippy red is fine. I'm gonna be like, bro, you're bugging. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're bu- you're, you're bugging? bugging. Yeah, <laughs> you're bugging. You're judging with her. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but if what like, the fuck? I think for me, then I'd be upset. I think for me, if it's a TikToker or like a YouTuber, only because like we're in the scene and like we know some some of them, I'll be like, what the fuck? Right. Like yeah. Like no, that's not cool. It's like some. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for real. But just because like we're in the scene too. Type like shit. like, like you fuck? know them. Yeah. yeah. Don't say shit about that. <laughs> If it's like a movie star, yeah, right? what? yeah Vinny Hack is so fine, bro. Yeah. I just did a podcast with him yesterday. You can't do that. Yeah, <laughs> you can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> 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 
Fuck. Do you believe in relationship weight? Is that a real thing? Ooh. Yeah, you get comfortable for sure. You guys go out to eat a lot. <laughs> Is that good or no? Uh, no, I feel like you should definitely be like in more of a healthy. Like, obviously, you could be in a healthy, comfortable relationship, like going out to eat and all that. But like, I feel like you guys should be helping each other make the best versions of each other. So like, going to the gym together, like that's cute as fuck. Like, I wish I could go to the gym with someone like uh-huh. every day. I hate going to the gym alone. You guys go to the gym alone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't. I fucking hate it, bro. I can't. Why? I don't know. I just don't like I, it. I like it better. I don't. I, I feel like I, I just can't. Bless you. I don't know. I, I, I like being there. I like being around people. In general. What? Fuck that. I like just having like my headphones in and like not having to like wait for somebody. No, yeah, for sure. I, if I, anything, I like people like spotting me and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be having my headphones on even with people. But like, you know, sometimes if I have some shit to say, I'll take my headphones off. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like. So how know. the fuck do you tell them if they're gaining weight and you don't like it? Or they don't want to go to the gym. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That that's the conversation you gotta have with them. Is that the easiest way though? Just to be like, hey, let's, like, let's start working out. Yeah, let's start working out. Like Together. Type deal. Yeah. Cause that yep. shit probably happens a lot. Yep. I'll tell you, oh, here's yeah, the ultimate sure. killer right here. You want it? <laughs> All right. Look, you say like you Go guys ahead. both gain weight, right? Okay. You're like, hey, let's start a challenge. Let's see who could get a six pack first. Ooh. That's the ultimate, like, ooh, and then she'll feel like, damn, okay. Uh, Type deal. I'm gonna fucking beat his ass to it. And then what if she don't give a yeah, fuck? Yeah, what if she's not yeah. competitive like she's that? Not, yeah. I don't care. Let's go to, let's go to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> Bae, that's a stupid fucking idea. <laughs> All right, let's I'm run hungry. to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's run to Chick-fil-A, nah, eat, and run point back. Two miles. If, if they're stubborn like that, I feel like you definitely just got to get creative and get them into it. It's, yeah, like it's that. about getting people into it. Like, getting people getting, getting yeah. people into the gym is hard. Like, getting into anything, a new, like, hobby or something, it's hard. You got yeah. to have them drive to it, you know? Yeah. You got to get them addicted to it. Is yeah. liking all of somebody's pics on Instagram, a s- like sliding in? I wouldn't like. I like like three or four. You wouldn't like them all? <laughs> no, no, no. no like okay, them. but let's say like you just spam, yeah, spam. like spam. sport, like like, like, four, like, I think, like, okay, like I think what people do is like, like you go, you find someone's account, you go like like three or four of them, and then if you follow them, and then you know they see that, and then you go back if they follow you back, and then you get four or three likes pics on yours, like they like three or four pics of yours. You like the rest. No, I don't like the no, rest. No, they slide in. You, you slide in, yeah. Hey. Hey. Slide in. No, I like the rest to make sure. What? And she has to like my rest to make sure that she really <laughs> wants me to slide. Yeah, that's too many steps, yeah, bro. Yeah, way if too you many. just like four photos and she just went back and like four or five photos, she obviously thinks you're cute yeah. too. Yeah. Like, she's obviously doing it for yeah. a reason. Yeah. But basic, what the fuck? I get notifications. <laughs> yeah, but basically, you gotta like all the fucking pictures. But like you'll no, see them you're, if you're following them, you'll see them. Yeah, yeah you're doing. Oh, it, you're okay. Doing it to so get if noticed. you're following them, you can see. That. Yeah, 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 it'll, yeah, it'll pop up. It's as on, a notification. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. like I've gone to people's pages, like like four f- photos, and then follow them, and then not get anything, and I go back and I follow them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like all right, obviously you don't. He has, me. He has a list. <laughs> yeah, you're notes. doing it to get noticed. Right. That's well, not because yeah. I don't know. This has happened to me. Have like someone ever? completely liked your shit and then you slide in they don't respond no yes no. i don't think i've ever slid on someone you had that right yeah it's like it's why? like what the fuck like, what are why you doing? yeah what are you i'm doing? really that funny i'm just not cute <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. just liking all this shit for no reason yeah i don't i don't understand that, that shit's so stupid yeah real weirdo vibes yeah, yeah for real bitch. <laughs> you like me from a distance <laughs> all right chance i need you to tell us about psychedelics oh, okay um <laughs> All right. What what is what is it even like to be on psychedelics? Um, LSD in general is like. Oh my god! No, he's <laughs> yeah. He does. LSD. I, I don't do, I don't do it like crazy. I'm not, I'm, what the? I'm not a right head. before this podcast popped it. No, but, <laughs> oh, right me now. and Frank are all like this. Jeez. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're getting taller. Is that yeah. like what is it? No, so um. With with LSD, bro, honestly, with that, f- what I've experienced, it's just like, okay, one, you get hella energy. Like, I, I, I take it sometimes when I go to, like, raves or stuff like yeah. that, because I like to dance. So I'd be, I be shuffling. Like, I'd be, in, like, I'd be <laughs> busting in that bitch. For real, I'm so serious. Like, after this, I'll show you. I'll be putting on some house music. <laughs> uh, um, but, like, it gives me a lot of energy, so I'd be up, and you can't fall asleep on it. Um, lights are very bright and uh like music you know like they're like waves. wait what why can't you fall asleep on it you just have so much energy like too high. oh okay okay you're i thought up, you meant like, you're, like you're there's something happens no 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 you're just like geeking you're, you're hyped up you're hyped up no you don't really get visuals like people be like oh like <laughs> mushrooms are attacking me or some shit it's like, bullshit some shit like well okay shrooms i've never done shrooms 
but I, I know you get visuals off shrooms. And yeah, like, heard um, that. what's the what's that one that Joe Rogan be doing? Uh, DMT. DMT. Oh, DMT. Oh, fuck that, that's that. a that's a 15 minute trip, but it feels like a lot longer. Supposedly, that one I know you're supposed to get like hella visuals off of it. But like uh, LSD, you just you know it, it's just like you're vibing, bro. Like with music, you could put headphones on, or if you're in the concert, you could literally like you feel it in your body. You know, oh. there's energies in the world. Type deal. So. <laughs> Like it it's sounds crazy. amazing. It, it, it's it's like it's that. dope, bro. It, it really makes you like every time I've taken it. Um, you kind of like. You 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 kind of like digging yourself, you know, it, like not going to a rave. Like if you just take it and just chill at home type deal, you you start thinking about yourself. You you like go through like your self journey, like go through life or whatever, and like you figure out like usually at the end of it, you could come out with like I need to get on my shit. Like I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I need to do it. Yeah. Type deal. You know, you really think about life. You really think about stuff like that. Um, but it's 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 not like so it's, it's like a um um what's it called like an eye opener yeah, yeah yeah it's like so when you take that it'll like show you like what you're missing or what it's tight. it makes you think it makes you think like crazy if you're just in your room or like in a house chilling by yourself or with your people like you you start thinking you know but so if you're out doing stuff like you're I feel like that would I'm, make you more like yeah crazy I'm paranoid as no, see, fuck yeah what, like what, what if you're in a bad place yeah. See, yeah, should that, you take whatever whatever it, it's all about location and like your mindset like if you go into any type of drug at all like that's even what like and who the shit. people you're around too the people you're around if you're around like yeah with with it's all energy bro all energy and like your mindset so if yeah. you have a bad mindset if you're like you're about to smoke and you're like oh my god like well, i'm a smoke and like i'm it's a scary like i'm a tweak or whatever you're gonna tweak like yeah. that's what it is yeah, you're gonna yeah. you're gonna overstress yourself out and then it's, the drug's gonna take over and do that you're right so it's all about mindset bro like if you go into anything doing like what a Paranoia. negative mindset a negative yeah. outcome's gonna happen you just yeah. gotta be chill about it yeah what? yeah good energy definitely helps no for sure what yeah. about microdosing I mean, yeah. If you would you ever do slow, that? Like, I like. So, like with LSD, is like you get a little tab. I only got like sugar cubes or whatever. You can take like <laughs> half of it, or whatever. So, with a regular dose of a tab, it's like it's like six hours, I think. And you take half, oh, it's three fuck. hours, stuff like that. So you, you go on a concert, bro. You there for like yeah, all day. Like literally, you you juking for real. You ever done acid? Oh my bad. <laughs> My bad. Who's gonna tell him? My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> my bad. Hey Chance, I, how do you know so much about this? Oh my god. I watch a lot of videos. <laughs> okay, my bad. Don't do drugs. <laughs> but does it really affect like it can come back later? What I heard that it comes oh, yeah. back uh, later. I mean, yeah, it's, what man, it's man made, like for sure it could definitely fuck you up. I, I don't know what I, I've never looked it up. <laughs> some people say like it b- burns your like brain stem or some shit like that. Yeah, I, don't I know heard something about the spinal cord. Something yeah, like, yeah. Like, spinal like it gets cord. stuck in your spinal cord. Something, something like that. I've like never that. heard like I never looked it up like logistically, but that's like if you overdo it, you know, you yeah, do I it think, all the time. I you think, can get a random trip. That's yeah, crazy. I think, yeah, it, it, it can like stuck. Yeah. And then I don't know where you Bus. You start tripping. That's kind of scary. That's not dope. Bro, what no, no, if that's you're that's driving, dope, bro? Sir. What oh, if yeah, you're driving? Yeah. Uh, so, okay, like like <laughs> what I'm saying, so lights are super bright. Like when you're driving, bro, like it's so hard to drive. Don't drive. <laughs> Don't drive off it. Because lights are bright as fuck, bro. Lights yeah. are so bright. Like everything's just like times 10. It's crazy. Have you seen the LSD oh, music yeah. video on acid? Um, Like the... The ASAP Rocky, the ASAP Rocky song. Rocky. How are you uh, not, not the ASAP Rocky. I've listened to um, the Beatles, Lucy's in the Sky Giant. Uh, oh. You know that. You know what that's about. That's about LSD, right? Lucy yeah. in the Sky Diamonds. No, I don't. Lucy, Lucy in the, the Sky, Sky Diamonds. Diamonds LSD. LSD. Oh, oh shit. shit! Yeah, just blew his mind right now. Nah, the reason why I ask about ASAP Rocky song LSD is because they say like that music video. Like it's if you watch it sober. It. Like it's like what the fuck? No, but if yeah. you watch it off trip, I I, like I it makes I it's meant to be, yeah. yeah. That, it's meant to um, be. yeah. I've watched uh the Brent Fires um, what video is that? Uh, uh Dead Man Walking. That video is trippy, low key. What? That video. <laughs> I, I listen to like I listen like off that. I like listening to like Bobby music, like yeah. jazz music and shit like that. I like, you like jazz? I like jazz. <laughs> nah, Wait, nah, Lucy. Jazz is hard. Jazz is hard. Jazz is hard. But like house music, I fuck with house music heavy, bro. Lucy and the Sky of Diamonds. That song was made to like be listened on acid. Well, they um, it's made about the drug. They're just talking about the drug the whole song. LSD. LSD. Yeah, I know, but I just no. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you look at the, if you watch the video, have you ever watched the video? No, it's 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 a cartoon. It's like completely trippy. So yeah, like when you watch shit. it sober, is it completely different? Yeah, it's than just when regular. You... It's like you're watching a cartoon. And then on acid, what? It's so much more it's like, fun. It's like wavy. It's bright because the colors are bright. Oh. But yeah, how but... are you not like? 
Yeah, how does that not? That's what I was thinking too. How does that not fucking hurt your head? I mean, if you sit in a pitch black room, I feel like it's gonna hurt you. But I don't know. But like, I like in my room, I have LEDs in my room. I got lights all over the place, so it's never pitch black in my room. I'm just staring at a screen, like at fucking two o'clock in the morning. You know, you play video games, shit. Your eyes be burning. So when you're playing, uh, have you ever played video games? No, nah, I never. You can't, uh, huh? I I mean, I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, my boys told me he has, and he, he's like won a game of. Um, <laughs> Warzone, but like, <laughs> oh shit, like I was popping off because you, you could get focused. Well, you could get focused, Stupid. like, well, you on it, you could, like, like, you focus on one thing, like, super hard, you know. Yeah. <laughs> imagine getting a dub on Warzone, it's all imagine like, just shit. getting 10 in a bro off of that shit. Just juking, like, take that shit, you'd be a pro. I never try, I never, no, I usually I like listening to music when I'm on it because, yeah. like, you put headphones on, bro, you like trans, like, you go to a different world, you close your eyes, you just just in it you know you're, you're, in the song. Yeah. you're in the song that's fucking crazy that's crazy that, I, that's insane makes you want to try it, it <laughs> yeah it, it look it, like it does with no side effects i feel like <laughs> for a second like if you're scared about it you know obviously if you don't want to don't do it uh you know shrooms is obviously a natural way it's a plant or whatever everything's still super illegal don't listen yeah to um <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> but uh but yeah like shroom, shrooms is like a natural way to do you know like lsd's man-made but shrooms you'll get like visuals i never done shrooms i won't do shrooms just because like they look disgusting i feel like i'm gonna get a bump on my lip eating that shit <laughs> <laughs> you've ever seen shrooms? Bro, yeah they, they're dirty mushrooms <laughs> you, put them on, you put them on a what would you my, put my it on if you could put it on something what yeah, would you put it on to make me, it sound people good tell, pizza people tell me they put it on pizza uh-huh. people tell me they put it in a peanut butter sandwich um they've um, they make like chocolate bars now that have it in what? it. What? What? What if? Yeah. What if you actually? <laughs> Wait. So shrooms don't fuck you up. Like, there's no negatives to shrooms. Like, uh, in terms of health, I don't think so. It's just more natural. It's a, it's a. It's like a natural thing. I feel like if you do too much, for sure. If you do anything too much, is bad for you. You know, you drink too much water, you could drown yourself in your lungs. <laughs> do you think weed is addicting? I think for some people, they use it as an excuse for a lot of things. I don't know about addicting, because I feel like. I me personally, I can stop whenever. I know I can because I've done it so many times, like for jobs or if I just want to take a tolerance break, for sure. But I feel like some people like use it too much as an excuse. All right, we'll make this probably the last question. But do you do you care if a girl's toes are painted? They they got to be taken care of. I'm not ain't no long toenails with some like dirty ass dirt and then like I don't care if they're painted like you go get your toes done and get clear coat go ahead do your shit but I mean if they dirty hell no nah, they gotta be done you gotta take care of yourself you're not taking care of yourself okay so, so, so he, they can be a, like a certain color <laughs> I mean yeah I mean they can do whatever they want why does he talk like that when he fucking <laughs> they can't be a certain color I mean they can't but be like a, yeah, it, it, it's, it's not, not it's, not, it's <laughs> not like a turn on to you, know, you like I mean, damn I mean okay. cl- clean feet are a turn on like I don't care what color it is but that's just kind of but part of hygiene right if it's like yeah. like damn she got she got her shit done like yeah she got her shit done you know white um, toes of course yeah <laughs> that's what he wanted that's me to say that's a foot fetish it's just, not a foot fetish bro. It's that's a, a foot fetish, okay bro. i i get it though like but i for me it's just more like she's taking care of herself like if you got dirty yes. ass fingernails yes. dirty ass feet okay i don't care about the paint though like if yeah. you're perceived like i mean go ahead he bro, likes it when they have like white toes, like they're yeah. just painted it's, nice it's, toes. Well, it's not necessarily all white, but like light, light colors. Like I'll tell you, like light purple, <sighs> light pink. No, yeah, white. okay. You like, see how passionate colors. about so, it? He is? No, but it's like a nice, bro. It's, it's nice. It, it I, makes you like, like it's aesthetically you, pleasing. To yes, you. if you have like for sure clear coat hands, like that's cool. But if uh, just keep those toes. <laughs> so is that a foot fetish? I don't know about no foot. Do you like getting foot jobs and stuff like that? No, no okay. I've never ever done that shit. So you, you like think sucking you... toes? Uh, I, yeah, I've done it, but I'm not like a. Hey, like that's all I want to do. That shit in your mouth. <laughs> <Right. honestly, laughs> <hey, nah. laughs> hey yo! Hey, yo! What the hey, fuck? Hey, yo! Oh, bro, 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 what the? Uh, uh, hey, you're mad. No, yes, what the fuck? Money back. Chance, Chance, what the you're fuck is wrong? Right. You're mad Y'all here. not finna team up on me right now. Yeah, uh, you're you you gonna act like your boy right is not right yeah. here. Going like, <laughs> yeah. how, how you gonna? How you gonna do? He was that whipping. You were sucking. And with that, thank you guys for listening to this podcast, watching it, whatever you're doing. Amazing, amazing guests. Shout out Chance for coming all the way from Chicago. Yeah, all the way from all Chicago. Chicago. Always love. All his yeah. stuff is gonna be in the description, wherever you're you're gonna find it. But yeah. thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys. Love you guys, love you guys so guys. much. Thank you. Bye.